Welcome back. Well, tens of thousands of Australian cars could be banned from the road after drivers continue refusing to replace deadly airbags. For more, I'm joined by Josh Dowling from Car Advice. Josh, good morning to you. Good morning. We are, of course, talking about the Takata airbags. Just to remind our viewers the, the, the dangers, the risks they pose. So there have been more than 24 deaths worldwide, 260 serious injuries, and there are two types. Takata is a supplier to many car companies, but there was a focus about a year ago on Alpha, that's A-L-P-H-A, not the car company, and Beta. And the reason that they made a distinction is the Alpha ones were the older, slightly more volatile, or in, much more volatile, I should say. They've got a one in two chance of spraying shrapnel when deployed in a crash, whereas testing found the Beta airbags had a 1% chance of spraying shrapnel when deployed in a crash. The problem is there are 3.8 million Beta types of airbags and only 115,000 Alpha airbags. And so the car industry now is saying, hey, these things are deadly, we need to get these off the road. I wouldn't have a clue if I've got an Alpha or a Beta. Is, is that part of the problem? Is that the confusion, do you think? I think so. So the car industry has set up a website called ismyairbagsafe.com.au. You can also go to recalls.gov. .au, the federal government's recall website. You can easily search your car if it's affected. You can ring your car company and say, hey, here's my registration details. Is my car affected? Um, would, would most cars have a Takata airbag? They supply millions a year. So we, at least 14 brands are affected in Australia, from, including market leader Toyota, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Honda. Not every single one of those cars has a Takata airbag or a faulty one, but certainly we're talking... Yeah, you know, four million cars in Australia. Mm. And, and, of course, drivers with these airbags are entitled to a free replacement. Why aren't they acting? Is, is it confusion? Is it apathy? What do you think? Oh, I don't know. There's concern now because there was a focus on the older type of airbag first. Maybe some motorists were lulled into a false sense of security that perhaps the later type is safer. But, of course, these get more dangerous as they age. There's more of them on the road. The one fatality and the one serious injury that has occurred in Australia as a result of these airbags was a beta type airbag. So they are absolutely deadly and they absolutely need to get off the road. All right, car makers are getting really serious about this. What are your thoughts on banning rego renewal? Will that force people to take action, do you think? I think that's the next step. The car makers are t taking extreme lengths. They're door knocking customers several times a week. About a third of them agree to the recall work. About a third say they will but have no intention of actually doing it, and, or some just outright refuse. And about a third they can't find, even with the latest rego data. So I think if we've explored every other option and people are still not bringing them in, I think the rego renewal ban is a good idea because at the end of the day, when these things explode, they don't discriminate. Whether it's the passenger or the driver airbag that's faulty, mm. it can spray shrapnel and injure anyone in that car. And by taking these measures, it puts the onus back on us as, as, the, as the car owners, doesn't it? That's right. And just a reminder, these are free of charge. Car makers have also offered loan cars for the period of the repair, which in most cases takes a few hours. So just remind us finally what you need to do to find out if your car's affected. Is my airbag safe .com .au or recalls.gov.au. All right. Very nice choice of shirt this morning, Josh. Oh, look, you've got excellent <laughs> taste in colour. <laughs> Thank you very much. Really good information. Cheers. See you soon. Over to you, Deb. I'm glad that ended well. Thank you.